today's video, we're going to do a quick rundown of the cars, seeing as we're in the garage. Um, so just going to do a quick walkthrough of everything that's here now. Some stuff is tucked away at the back, some stuff's further forward, the stuff we move, well, stuff we use more. Starting with this one, if you've been around Fords for a while, you know exactly what car this is. It's a Mark II RS2000. Uh, it did start off as blue, but it's now black. Um, the number plate isn't on the front at the minute, but it is BMX. Uh, used to have a Cosi engine in it, and it used to do drag racing. Now it doesn't. Um, it has got, I'll show you. Inside now is a 2.1 litre Pinto on twin 50s. So that is built by Wacky Performance Engines, which do a lot of uh, old escort stuff. Um, had this car nearly a year now, I think, when they picked it up from Northampton Way, I think. I think it was up that way. It was pissing down the rain. It used to do a used to do a lot of drag racing. It's in a lot of the old fast forward magazines. A lot of the Automex stuff as well. It used to have Automex here, but that's been taken off. It was in red. Um, this little koala here survived a fire when it caught fire due to a battery uh, malfunctioning behind the passenger seat there. Uh, so it has been in a fire as well, hence the extinguisher that now sits in there. A lot of people are in two minds about it because it's not original and a lot of people like them original. Obviously that front scoop's the only one that has it. Well, that car's the only one that has that front scoop. Wheels are black, a lot of people like them silver. The hood vents, bonnet vents, they've been put in. They're not usually in the car. But the interior has all, all been changed from original. It's got harnesses, roll cage. Inside it's got your, your gauges. It's still got the NOS button there from when it was a drag racing car. But other than that, it's all the original dash. You've got the steering wheel that does pop off. doesn't go back on very well there we go so that's back on but it is rapid and uh, up to about 60 miles 60 70 miles an hour it's probably the fastest car here and then this thing will probably take over from there so this is the one we've had the longest it's the quickest it's got the most power it's definitely not standard on the engine bay. If you have a look here, it's all been uprated. About 450, 500 brake. Um, proper tail happy. Uh, big AP racing brakes all round. All the interior is the same. All, got all the original RS Owner Club stickers still in the window. But it has got a full genuine RS500 kit. With that, you've got the this other splitter that adds on, which isn't usually on the normal one. You then come around the front. You know that the vents were added where the fog lights used to be. So that's been changed. Bottom splitter. Got a bottom splitter for it as well. Went all the way to Chelmsford to pick that up. It's about a six hour round trip just for the front splitter. And this thing will do silly, silly speed. Like, wow, I can't give too much away. This is Dusty. 
because it's been sat here for two months, I think, or maybe longer, maybe longer than that, since uh, my dad come on boost and blew the shaft out of it. But they're all off the road now. It's winter, really, so we don't really drive them much in the winter. But in the summer, we get out of them and get out in them a lot. Obviously, all the interior is all the same that you'd find in your normal Sierra. Nothing's really been changed. You've got your boost gauge down there that will turn the boost up. But obviously, the higher the boost is, the more that just goes like that. This is the first Cosy you got, but this is probably the first classic that he bought, really. It's a 911 Targa 3.2. So it's got all the 964 bumpers on it. Rear spoiler's been added. All interior's been re-trimmed. It's all red inside. Obviously that you've got to lift off yourself. It sits in the front of the front of the car there folds down into the storage um, big spaces on there hopefully soon be able to put some new arches on there bring it out a little bit better some bigger well nicer fitting wheels and then also some better sound we've got a new exhaust to go on there it's on a in a box here somewhere this is a project over in this corner but i'll quickly fly through it it ain't going to be being touched for a while. This is Series 2 RS Turbo in black. It's a complete car apart from the interior. Everything's in the back. But obviously there's bits that need sorting out. Wheels need changing. Paint. Probably some rust sorting out underneath. But it is a fairly solid. I don't know if you can guess, but we're a big fan of Compromotive wheels. They've got them. That car's got them. The Sierra. And obviously, the Escort comes on them standard. This car, he's had, we've had a little over two years now. March 12th. I've got to remember that because I went and picked it up the day my sister was born. So it's uh, one that won't be leaving the collection ever, probably. It is an RS Turbo on a J Reg, it's a 1990. It's got the bigger turbo, and it's probably about 200 horsepower, so it's very, very torque steering at the front. But they all were, uh, and they're all, all fun to drive. It don't weigh much. And it's got that, still got that classic Cosy feel, despite being a RS Turbo. So these are two RS2000s. This is Ash Black Mark VI, which is the exact same as the Monty we've got, which is Mark VI Escort, and also an Ash Black project car. A lot needs doing to it, but it'll, it'll happen in time. This one is from a YouTube TV show. A lot of you know where it's from, you recognise it. So if you do know, comment i'm not going to say where but you can go and watch all the videos that they've done on this car already it's a one owner car low mileage interior is all fairly mint and it's just a, a clean rs2000 really yeah right so this is a bit different to the stuff that is in here apart from obviously the porsche um this is a Type UK Subaru Impreza WRX STI, completely original. Everything is completely original, except the Scorpion exhaust, which should be changed. Um, but I think in the last two years, I think it's done 17 miles. It don't move, it doesn't get driven. It's purely just, it come up and it went well with the collection, apart from when it's under the light, you can see it's a bit gold compared to everything else. It's got like a gold flicker in the paint. But yeah, and all inside is all completely original. All the seats, everything looks completely untouched. So, so this one here is probably the rarest out of them all. 
they only made seven of these. Uh, they did three colours in the Monty. They did the Mallard Green, Jewel Violet and Ash Black. This is an Ash Black one in right hand drive, which they only made seven or eight of them, I think. It was to commemorate the Monte Carlo rally, hence the rally wheels. So these are big turbo, because this is later, I think this is 94, maybe 95. I'll have to double check that. There's a handful of things different on this compared to the normal Escort. First off, the wheels, they come on the WRC rally style wheels, they, they are comps. But that's what they came on standard. <clears throat> if you look here, it says Monty. Just a little bit of a decal there. If I lift the cover off a little bit, you'll see that they've put the four badge in the middle, not here. They've added the decal there instead. And then I think the rest of the differences are on the inside, which first off is the steering wheel. The steering wheel's different. That's not the normal Escort steering wheel. The seats and motorsport seats. They are Recaro still, but they say Recaro. On the back, and then they got motorsport in the, in the bolster there, instead of being on the front, well, on the front of the chair. The gear knob is different. That comes like a big silver ball, basically. You can see there. So that was a bit different. And then obviously, if you come around to the other side, and if you look on the passenger side, where they made 200 of these, you'll have the number, the build number in the dash. So that's number 81 out of 200 that were made. Now this is the one, mate. <laughs> this is one I've got myself. I've always wanted one since I was like 14. I managed to get one. Maybe got stitched up with it, maybe didn't. When I got it, I, it, it said it needed a gearbox, interior. It was probably going to need a bit of paint here and there. Um, some few engine bay bits and things like that. And then when I got it, obviously bought it blind, stupidly. It ended up not being what it was so the door cards are in dash center console rear seats uh so i just got to get the steering wheel sent off to get that done i'm gonna have that done in alcantara and then that's basically the interior done uh here's the seats anyway there's the porsche exhaust i was talking about earlier so it's ended up basically being a shelf full of bolts and pieces of interior and malt Microfibers, my number plate is stuck to the roof. That's the plate that I'm going to be sticking on it, not that one. I don't know why my dad stuck that on there. So I've taken all this out, taken all the front bars. They're all locked down there because they're getting painted as well. Bumpers painted, I'm going to get the engine bay painted. Gearbox. So yeah, there's a lot, a lot to do still. I've got to get underneath all uh, powder coated and stuff so everything's been redone basically i've taken it completely apart as you can see over the back there it's in complete bits so it's going to be a while but i'm hoping to get back on the road for my birthday it's been off the road since 2014 it's nearly 10 years now and by my birthday which is may next year it will be 10 years but obviously the mileage ain't gone up in 10 years it's all the same engine the engine matches the the car so hopefully by summer next year i will have a mark one focus that i can actually drive around in right so now you've seen the collection if everyone else comments their favorite because i'm going to say mine for me this is the best looking one this is just different level but for me to drive Probably this Sierra Cosworth, it's, a, it's a, just a good all-rounder. It's quick, it's loud, it's comfy. You can go on fairly long drives with it. If you go anywhere longer than 
an hour in that. You need earphones. That's fun. It's fun to drive, but obviously it's big turbo. It's got turbo lag, and it's only two thirty brake, where it's completely standard. So, obviously back in the day that's quick, but compared to now, it's not really much better than anything normal that you drive around. So that was the run through of the ten cars that are currently in the garage. They're all away for winter now, probably. So once the video is done, covers will be on and they'll be left. As you can tell, the theme is basically black Fords near enough, bar two. Obviously, if you want to see more, like and subscribe. And if you want to see daily updates, really, head over to the Instagram. I'm a lot more active on there. You message me and whatnot. I'm always uh, here to answer any questions. So, yeah. See you at the next one.